Hey, Corey here, Canadian RC guy. Well, we've been working hard on this oval track. Let me flip this camera around and I'll show you what we've been up to. So the oval track's over there. You can see the difference in the color of dirt. Um, over here on the, the rally track, as we were digging up some dirt, we found a nice little bit of clay. So we're just kind of following that along and we're moving as much of that over to here as we can. Because obviously if we can run on some nice clay, that'll be a lot better. So we've got uh, this all packed down and banked up really nicely on both of the, the corners here. We've got this just about flat along here. We're going to add some of that clay. we got a little hole here to fill. A little hole here to fill kind of along this edge. And that'll get that done. You can see we've got a hole here where the kind of lays. So we're going to get that done. We banked this corner already with some regular dirt. We'll take a bunch of that clay. Get it, cover it over top. You can see we got a bit of a deer problem back here. We'll have to uh, do something about that in the fall, maybe, depending on what size it is. And uh, then we're just going to bring a little bit of dirt along through here. Got one little rock there to cover up. But uh, you can tell by the colors in the, the dirt, we got a few little low spots that we're going to fill up. So give us a little bit. Probably take us the rest of the day to get this all done. And hopefully by tonight or tomorrow, we'll be turning some laps on this thing finally. So give me a little bit and we'll bring you right back. All right, so here we are back at the track. We've got her pretty well flattened out, as you can see. We'll do a little walk along here. Um, we've still got a little bit of work to do. A few spots of grass here and there, but we'll get the weed killer out here tomorrow over the weekend, get it all done. We didn't quite have enough clay to get the whole track done. We're gonna have to find another spot to dig up on our track over there. Um, but eventually we'll get it all done, but this is good enough to run. Um, we're pretty well smoothed out. A few little bumps, I'm sure, and jumps are going to come out of the way when we start turning some laps on it here in a minute. But uh, our next good rain should really pack this thing down and uh, show us any more little spots that we've got to even out. But we got the modified out here. We're still running box stock. We wanted to wait till we got this track kind of flattened out a little bit better. So we're going to hammer this down with a few laps, see how this thing does now. The next video, we're going to do some changes on this thing and then we'll really be able to see what this thing can do. So give us a minute, we'll get this thing turned on. We'll be turning laps. All right, let's see how this car does on a little bit better uh, prepared surface here than we had last time. Oh, I think we had a play with our steering a little bit there. I uh, think we're going a little bit uh, a little bit to the left there. There we go, that's a little bit better. Oh, a little bit too much speed going into the corner there. Not quite as much traction as I'd like. We're really gonna have to slow it down a lot. There we go, that's a little bit better. Oh, right off the corner down there. Give us a second, we'll have to go grab her. Our uh, next step on the track here is definitely going to have to get the wood around the corners. That way we can definitely stop. Stop, uh, what was I going to say there? Stop going off on those corners. We can really kind of come in and dig in, that kind of thing. There we go, we can really get into her. She's a bit of a, bit of a dusty, slidey track. We can, I'm sure we can bring back some water, get this thing a little bit more slick. Oh, we're a little bit too. But she does, she does really push straight out of the box before we do any, do any adjustments to this thing, that's for sure. Oh, you can see she really slides out there, unfortunately. Just by giving a little bit of break Still a few spots to flatten out on this track, but that's a whole lot better than last time, that's for sure. Just a little, a little tap on the brake seems to help get us around the corner. So remember, we haven't, we haven't cleaned out the diff or anything on this thing. It's still still running the way you buy it out of the box, so there's a lot left we can get out of this thing. 
that's for sure. Oh, right off into there. All right, well, this is a perfect chance. Give us a second. We're going to hook this uh, camera up to our controller. That way we can kind of get you guys a better view of this whole thing. So give us one second. We'll be right back. All right, we got the camera kind of hooked up to the controller here. Hopefully give us a little bit better shots of this thing for you. So let's turn a few more laps. Oh, I think we turned our, turned our poor controller off on us. There we go. That's a little bit better. Not gonna lie, it's my first time doing driving like this. It's a little bit hard. She still really doesn't turn very well, that's for sure. Really gotta kind of on and off the gas. Oh, a little bit of a spin out there in the corner. I'm not so great at this whole, sorry, I got my uh, string wrapped around it. Not so good at this whole uh, video camera and driving the car. I'm definitely gonna be getting some practice here on that. Uh, definitely need it, but hopefully you guys will follow along and watch for me. Um, but give me a second, I'm gonna adjust this camera just a hair, see if I can make it a little bit easier to film and drive. All right, so there we go, we're back. Let's uh, see if this makes it any easier. Well, can't say I'm amazed with this car straight out of the box, that's for sure. I mean, obviously we could use a bit of a bigger track for this car, but uh, I think after we get a few things done to this thing, not real upgrades, but it's just a few changes, get that uh, rear differential cleaned out, that kind of thing, then uh, I think this thing will do a whole lot better. Let's see if we can get a few shots of her. <laughs> Spun right out trying to film it. Get a few shots of it down nice and low here for you. Hurry up over the side. Right up and over, away we go. All right, well, give me a second. I'm gonna flip this camera around. We'll finish this video off. But you know what? Not too bad, right out of the box. All right, well, as always, thanks so much for watching. All right, well, like I said, straight out of the box, this car isn't too bad, but there's a lot left that we, on the table that we can do. So in the next upcoming videos, we're gonna be doing that. We're gonna be going through the differential, getting all that big heavy grease out of there, adding some nice oil. We got some other little things to do, maybe change some shock oil, that kind of stuff, different springs into it. Um, whole bunch of little things that we're gonna do this. Some of them don't cost anything. Some of them are gonna cost you $10, $15, not that much. Spend a 50, 60 bucks, you're going to have this thing running like a dream. So as always, thanks so much for watching. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button down below. If you have any comments on this car, anything you think we should do to it, drop those down in the comments. And if you could, give us a big thumbs up. Share this video to all your friends because it helps us out a ton. 
Thanks so much. We'll see you again real soon.